AI growth has completely exploded in the 2020s. This is going to be known as one of the biggest decades of all time because AI is going to be so prevalent in the future. It is going to change so much. It is just getting absolutely crazy. And I want to break down the latest release from OpenAI called Sora, which is a text to video model that beats any other text to video model way out of the water. In fact, the videos alone beat text to image in a lot of cases. It is absolutely crazy and it's going to mean a lot of things for the future of everyone, especially entertainment, which is something that I'm really excited about. We'll get onto that later, but I want to show you just how far we've come. This Will Smith eating spaghetti video was 10 months ago. He looks like an oh, alien. No, no. He looks like something no, no. out of a Cthulhu story, an abomination, a monster, something out of horror. It's just awful. Except for the enthusiasm that he eats that spaghetti. That That is absolutely how I eat my spaghetti. That is, oh, I, I just shovel it down. This is where we were at back in the day. That, it was just Will Smith chowing down, looking absolutely horrible, looking really bad. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, boom, this drops, skadoosh. It almost looks completely real. There's obviously a few things which are different. If you look closely at the mouth, you can still see some distortion going on. The camera movement's weird and floaty, like it's just your drunk grandpa filming you for a school project. And the burger, it, there's something strange about it. Like his, his fingers aren't pressing into the burger. It, it, it's, it's just, there's minor things which are off. But this is the difference in just 10 months of AI growth. And it's been happening not just in video, it's been happening in images, it's been happening in, happening in text, and it's been happening in audio as well. It's just going crazy in every single aspect of life, and it is going to completely change the future. So Runway Gen 2 was the old state-of-the-art uh, text-to-video AI, and it, it, it did okay. Like, it, that is pretty good, but just compared to the top, with the new release of Sora, that is crazy. The, the realism is so different. And there is so many examples of this. The Lunar New Year one, I prefer the art style of this, but the realism of the top one is far better. Look at the face there for that guy. The close up of the eye, this one is crazy. Like, look at this. Top one is the new state of the art, the bottom one is the Runway Gen 2. And you can see that that one, it seems to be kind of like a just feeding a, a bunch of images into the same AI and then telling it to or do a bit of movement. But this one really makes it out of a video. It just turns it straight up into a video perfectly. And it looks so good. This one with a photorealistic close-up video of two pirate battles uh, battling each other while they sail inside a cup of coffee. I completely messed that up because I was just looking at the coffee with all the ships there. And again, you can see that the ship here at the top it's still looking a bit goofy. Like, look at that. It's like the the Phantom Ship. One of one something out of SpongeBob, the Flying Dutchman. That's what it's called. And uh, so, yeah, it's still got a bit to go. But the improvement is insane. Look at this one. The cartoon kangaroo disco dancing. And I, I don't even know what's going on with the bottom one. That looks like something out of Roblox. That's like a Roblox emote where the where the dude's like, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, so th the difference is insane. What is that in the background? That is a, is that like a moose rabbit thing? Like look, even the background creatures are actually kind of cool. They, they're kind of sick. So I'd already say that this model alone is gonna be used in a lot of things. Like imagine any show out there, any news article, anyone can just create B-roll footage, which is basically just footage that goes in the background while you're talking about something. Like if I was doing a presentation on why peanuts are really bad for the nose, I could be like, oh, uh, give me a video of someone sniffing peanuts and then licking them and putting, giving the thumbs up. And so then it would generate someone giving like a little, giving a little whiff and then uh, going mm, mm, like that. And you could just do that throughout, throughout the entire video. And I said this when the text to image came out, but the stock footage and stock uh, image uh, photographers, it, it is done. It is absolutely over for them. And which leads on to my next point that this is going to be really scary for a lot of jobs. Even as a YouTuber, text to video is absolutely terrifying. In future, 
you may not even need a person. You may, you pr you're probably not even gonna need me. I'm gonna get replaced. They're just gonna pump out a handsome version of me and an entertaining version of me, and they'll just kick me out and be like, we don't need you anymore. This new divan can talk about every topic every second because it just generates in over 30 seconds an entire YouTube video of talking and weird shenanigans, and then it can just pump it out, and people won't even know what's real. Not right now. It's not quite there yet. But in future, that's exactly what I can see. And that's gonna happen for so many jobs. The, the film industry, that this is coming for that. Imagine, in future, and this is this is where I think it's ultimately going to end up far in the future. Not in, no, not even far in the future. No, in within the next decade, it's gonna be, people will be able to generate their own movies from scratch. Like, you just be like, okay, you know what, today, I want a movie like Harry Potter, but set in a western style sewage system. And then you're gonna get some, like, magic gunslinging sewer trolls that go on wacky adventures and all that. Like, it, it, and it would actually be interesting. But that's all just from one AI generation. Knocks out an entire humongous industry, the entertainment industri industry, skadoosh, and probably countless other industries just from this text to video. It, it is just wild. And that's not even including all the other uses that AI can have with the text to image, text to audio, uh, everything else, g generation of content, blah, blah, blah. Everyone's jobs are in danger. Which is why I really hope, and I'm, I think this will happen, that in future, every government's gonna have to step up and guarantee that people can have a good life even without a job. Because if AI keeps advancing, soon it's gonna be able to do every single job. And that's the negative, but I wanna talk about the positive, because I think this could end up with some of the most amazing experiences anyone could ever imagine. Look at this example here. This is a base video of a car driving down. I don't even, look, I, I don't even know if it's AI generated. Try, try and take a guess before I see. Let's see. Did it do this? Okay, no, this this isn't AI generated. See, it, it, we're getting into the world where you're not even able to tell, which is an issue, by the way. Uh, but I think it's something that we can adapt to because we've dealt with photoshopped images before, right? We, we, we now, when we see an image, we're like, okay, well, we're not going to believe everything we say unless we're like our... 80 year old grandmother who's still seeing like an image of uh, Joe Biden taking a rocket ship to the moon and she's like, he actually went to space, that crazy man. Eventually we're not gonna be able to even trust video, which is kind of scary. I don't know what we're gonna be relying on as evidence. So that's something that people way smarter than me are going to have to look into for a solution. Maybe there's a way to watermark AI footage. Maybe there's a way to detect it in future. But then again, other people would come up with a way to prevent that detection. It's an arms race. But remember this footage here, but going back to the good, we got the base footage. Now, with this prompt, he changes it into a lush jungle. Or changes it into a 1920s with an old school car. Keeping the red color there. Look at that guy zooming down the road. Zooming through ye old cities and streets. And underwater. Now, there's not really much water here, but you've got all the watery plant life and everything. Like, look at that. That is gorgeous. And they, they just do so many. The uh, mountain Joshua trees, the rainbow road, like something straight out of Mario Kart in space. Again, not very spacey, but you got the idea of Mars. Uh, the same, but make it winter. A different animation style, like something out of cars, but more Lego looking. Uh, just There's just so many different examples here. And that's why I think entertainment in future is gonna be amazing. Don't think that, oh, we could just change the style of a, a car to something different. No, you gotta think wider, think bigger. If we combine this with the content generation of, for example, ChatGPT when you ask it to write a story, but a billion times better, you could literally have, and I use this example on Twitter, Harry Potter rewritten the movie, the, the entire movie, you can just have it changed by saying, oh, uh, what if Snape didn't kill Dumbledore? Or what if uh, Ron was the main character instead of Harry? Or anything, and the whole movie would adapt and still make a really interesting movie, but just completely differently. I, I think that would be crazy ridiculous. And same with video games, content generation on the fly, right? Like imagine it, it shapes the world around you Anything is possible just based on whatever you want to do. 
it i think that is the ultimate goal of entertainment almost full dive vr without actually being inside the game but full content generation all around you no longer needed for, uh, is programming uh scripted events or anything just a really amazing story with really amazing gameplay which looks completely realistic however you want and that that is just yeah i i get really excited to think about that but that that's one of the good things that I am excited for. Again, though, that's a silver lining far in the future. The current pressing problem is that we've got to look after the people who do lose their jobs to this. I think governments need to step up and they need to provide a basic income to people, especially if those who lose their jobs to this, because the jobs being created by this are far less than the jobs being destroyed by it. And I'm scared too. It's coming for my job. It's coming for my doubloons. They want to take away me money maker. Yeah, SpongeBob, stop him, me boy. And of course, this is the worst that it's ever going to be. It's only going to get better. We're only going to get better and better AIs in every regard. Eventually, an AI that could potentially do whatever a human can, but better. And then even further, an AI that is smarter than all of humanity combined, which is crazy to think about. But yeah, let me know what you think down below. I'm very curious. See you in the next video. Bye.